Hello, everyone. My name is Yan Meng. I'm glad to have the opportunity to present our work. The title is "Your Microphone Array Retains Your Identity: A Robust Voice Loudness Detection System for Smart Speakers." This is a joint work done by Yan Jiachun, Professor Zhu from Shanghai Zhongdong University, Matt Adrian Lam Hafsa, and Professor Tian from the University of Virginia. Here is the outline. Let's begin with the background. The smart home becomes a popular lifestyle. The global revenue of smart home is expected to reach about one hundred billion dollars in twenty twenty six. In smart home, voice interface is the main user interface. The user can use the voice interface to remotely control smart devices or query useful information. Currently, smart speakers such as Echo, Google Home, are the mainstream of the voice interface. However, the voice interface faces serious security threats due to the broadcast nature of voice. The voice interface is vulnerable to the voice spoofing attack. In reply attack, the attacker can record the victim's voice samples and play the pre-collected voice to spoof the voice interface. Besides, researchers point out advanced spoofing attackers, including hidden voice and inaudible attack. It's important to defend against the voice spoofing. Loudness detection is a typical solution. It's based on the basic observation. The authentic voice and spoofing voice are generated by real human and electrical devices, respectively. Therefore, if we can detect the factors related to the human action, we can determine whether the audio input is authentic. Current loudness detection can be divided into two types: two-factor authentication and passive loudness detection. The first one, two-factor authentication, leverages the image acceleration or ultrasonic signals to capture the user's movement during the voice generation. However, two-factor authentication requires the user to deploy additional sensitive devices, which increases users' burden and privacy risks. To overcome the limitations of two-factor authentication, researchers propose passive loudness detection. Passive detections only use the collected voice samples to conduct the loudness detection. This figure shows the basic insight. We can see the authentic voice is generated by human mouth motion, and the spoofing voice is generated by the vibration of the electrical device. These two types of voice generation can be regarded as two types of signal modulation, which will cause the difference of spectrograms. Recent studies propose some useful features. For example, the spectrogram feature from the mono channel. And the field print from the two-channel audio. However, passive loudness detection still has some limitations. For the scheme based on the mono channel, the unstable spectrogram caused the performance unstable. As shown in the left figure, the spectrograms between authentic and spoofing audios in different locations are quite different. For the dual-channel based solution to obtain a robust loudness detection feature, it requires the user to hold the microphone pairs in a fixed gesture. Therefore, can we design an effective and robust passive loudness detection scheme? This is the goal of our work. Let's introduce the motivation of our solution. We notice that to improve the quality of the collected audio, the smart speakers deploy a microphone array. Which contain multiple microphones, as shown in this figure. Compared with the traditional microphone and the smartphones, current smart speakers such as Echo and Google Home can collect the audio with six or even eight channels. Such multiple channel can improve the diversity of the audio and can better characterize the audio's identity. Therefore, based on the multiple channel audio, we propose a novel loudness detection feature named Array Fingerprint. The array fingerprint calculates the difference between spectrograms from different channels. Array fingerprint has a better robustness. We use a case study to demonstrate it. As shown in the left figure, we rotate the microphone array with 19 and 118 degrees. We ask the volunteers to speak the voice command at each case. Note that the blue and the red microphones are used to calculate the two-channel feature. We can see that the two-channel features are unstable. 
However, if we utilize the array fingerprint, we can see that there is a robust feature when we rotate the microphone array. We also conduct a small experiment to validate the effectiveness of array fingerprint. We ask the volunteer to speak a voice command at two different locations. Then we utilize the smartphone and iPad to conduct the replay attacks at the same locations. It's observed that the array fingerprints between different audio sources are quite different, and the features from the same audio source are consistent. Therefore, our array fingerprint is a robust and effective feature for the passive lung noise detection. After introducing the motivation, let's introduce the proposed lung noise detection system, Array ID. Array ID is based on our novel feature, Array Fingerprint. It has four modules, data collection module, pre-processing module, feature extraction module, and attack detection module. We will introduce them one by one. In this study, we chose the development boards with microphone array in the commercial smart speakers. As shown in this figure, metric and rip speaker are used. They have eight and six microphones respectively. Then after obtaining the multiple channel audios, we conduct the pre-processing. Firstly, we calculate the spectrograms of each channel using the short-time Fourier transform. This figure shows the spectrograms of the first, third, and fifth microphones. Then we conduct the direction detection. Then we start to extract the feature. We first calculate the array fingerprint. For the spectrograms, we convert them into meshes. As shown in the red rectangle, we can see that spectrogram difference between different channels are obvious. Finally, we calculate the standard deviations between these meshes and perform five-point moving average and normalization. The right bottom figure shows the calculated array fingerprint. Here are array fingerprints extracted from three different commands in both authentic and spoofing scenarios. We can find that the features difference between authentic and spoofing audio is clear. To enhance the performance of array ID, we also extract more features. More details can be found in our paper. The final module is attack detection module. To achieve the lightweight detection requirement, we choose a lightweight neural network. We train the module using collected audios and their labels. Then for the new voice input, after extracting the feature, this module can determine whether the audio is authentic or spoofy. We will introduce the evaluation results in the following slides. For data collection, we employ metric creator and re-speaker, which are shown in the left figure. In this study, the attacker placed the collected audio by 14 different devices to perform the voice spoofing, showing in the right figure. We recruit 20 volunteers to speak 20 different voice commands, about 10,000 authentic commands and about 20,000 spoofing commands are collected overall. To evaluate the performance of every ID, we define four metrics, accuracy, FAR, FRR, TR, and ERR. For instance, the voice command samples are shown as below. We evaluate every ID and other liveness detection tools on two datasets, our generated mild dataset and the open source dataset we mask dataset. The performance of every ID is proved to be effective. We also measure the time overhead of every ID on the voice assistance. We evaluate various factors. For example, the distance, the directions, the user movement, the environments, and the different replay devices to demonstrate the effectiveness of every ID. According to the experimental results, every ID is proved to be useful under various conditions. For specific, to evaluate the performance of every ID on a totally new distance, we recruit four participants to attend experiments at three different locations. The performance is about 99%, which demonstrates every ID is robust to the training distance. To explore the impact of angles between the user face directions and the microphone array, we test the performance in four different directions, which is front, left, right, back. Every ID achieves an accuracy of about 99% which means every ID is robust to the change of directions. After showing the evaluation results, let's enter the discussion. We add an experiment to evaluate the impact of background noise. As shown in bottom figure, to generate the background noise, we place a noise generator to play white noise during the data collection. 
We utilize an advanced sound level meter to measure the background noise level. When increasing the noise level from 45 dB to 65 dB, the accuracy decreased from 98% to 86%. Every ID can still work well when the background noise is less than 50 dB. When there exists strong noise, the performance of every ID degrades sharply. The second issue is the modulated attack, as shown in this figure for the advanced attacker. Before replaying the pre-collected audio, she can process it using the inverse filter. After that, the spectrogram of the audio in the modulated attack is like the authentic one. However, we can observe that the array fingerprint is still like the classical replay attack. We test array ID's ability on detecting modulated attack using three different spoofing devices. The results show that array ID is effective, but the performance is unstable. Therefore, addressing the modulated attack is still an open problem. The last issue is about the training requirements. As shown in the attack detection module, array ID needs training data sets. However, if the user didn't provide any de training data, array ID's performance will degrade. So achieving the no training hundreds remains an open problem. Finally, let's conclude this work. In this work, we propose array ID to detect voice spoofing. Based on the microphone array, we propose a robust loudness feature array fingerprint. Finally, by conducting comprehensive experiments, we prove that array ID is effective and robust to various factors. In the future, we need to overcome the issues related to the noise, advanced attackers, and the training requirements. That's all. Thank you for your listening. Welcome to Ask Questions. You can also reach me and my advisor via email address. Thank you.